Hi guys, here's a follow-up video on my progress with this inverter. So, turns out that this is not actually a Goodwee branded inverter, even though that, that's what it says on it. It's actually branded by uh, Electric Power, basically a company that buys these and then they uh, change the software on them and uh, they make some changes to them. So they don't actually work with BYD batteries after their changes. Uh, so I couldn't, wasn't able to get the can working, but it still works as an inverter. It just does, doesn't know uh, the charge state of the battery and it can't charge it, but it can use it as an inverter. So I'm using the LilyGo with my custom cable and the uh, UID battery emulator software running on it. I've got the HV IO loop closed. I've got the high voltage cable going to the inverter with the 500 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor. Then I got an output backup power, uh, 1450 outlet hooked up to the out, uh, backup power. And then the, the grid is connected to my 1450 outlet outside. And I'm actually able to charge my Tesla from the battery. Even when uh, the breaker is actually uh, off right now on this outlet, I'm only using it uh, for the uh, neutral ground bonding which is required for the Tesla to start charging and uh, by these LEDs you can see that the backup is on grid is down no power coming in uh, through that outlet through this outlet and uh, I can start charging I'm only using 10 amps because I don't want to, I don't want to test this to the full capacity, you know, with the battery in my house, in my garage. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, but in theory, this cable should be able to handle uh, 10 kilowatts. It's fused for 62 amps in the battery. Of course, I got to redo this connection a little bit if I decide to use this inverter in the future or one like this. Uh, but lo lots of cleaning up to do, of course. Uh, this is just a prototype. Hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video.